Okay, problem number 23 says, given a starting population of 100 bacteria, the formula B equals 100 times quantity 2t, 2 to the t, can be used to find the number of bacteria B after t periods of time. If each period is 15 minutes long, how many minutes will it take for the population of bacteria to reach uh, 51,200? So we're basically looking for how many minutes will it take for the population to reach this number, okay? And B is the population number, so we start by writing 51,200 equals, and then this 100 times 2 to the T, okay? The first step in solving this is dividing by 100 on both sides, okay? That gives us... 512, essentially that 0 and that 0 cancel and that 0 and that 0 cancel because when you have numbers that end in just zeros, you can do that. Maybe I'll explain that in another video, but that should be something that you know if you're solving a problem involving powers and exponents. Okay, so clearly the 100s and the 100s cancel, and you have 2 to the t. Okay, and fortunately, 512 is a power of 2. Okay, powers of 2 being, and I'll write them in a different color, so you've got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 124, getting close, 256, and 5, 12. And the powers of 2 here, this is 2 to the 1, that's 2 squared, that's 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7 2 to the 8, and 2 to the 9. So what we have is 2 to the 9 equals 2 to the t. Well, it should be pretty obvious that 9 and t are equal. t is equal to 9. t equals 9. And so you might say, oh, okay, we're done. 9 minutes, that's the, that's the, the answer, and we're going to go on. But remember, the problem said that each time period is 15 minutes long, and t is after t periods of time. So there have been nine 15-minute intervals. So you need to take nine times 15 minutes, right? And nine times 15 gives us uh, 135. 135 minutes, or equivalently, two hours and 15 minutes. Okay, and that's the answer. 2 hours and 15 minutes, or 135 minutes, whichever one is fine. I don't know. They didn't specify, so it shouldn't matter. Um, kind of scary to think about that. In 2 hours and 15 minutes, you go from 100 bacteria to 51,200 bacteria. That's very, very rapid growth. In fact, that's exponential growth. Um, so there you have it. Question number 23.